Today, I will be taking you to the coastal town of Roven. We will explore the maze of cobbled streets. This is the largest Baroque church in Croatia. Climb the 61 meter high bell tower and end the day at the beach. Join me as I explore more of the beautiful country of Croatia. We drove about 50 minutes on a very nice toll road to Roven. We found a paid parking lot and walked along the water to the old town, which is situated on an oval-shaped peninsula. The old town used to be an island, but in 1763, the channel was filled in and connected to the mainland. Before entering the old town, we wandered through the green market. What originally started as a fresh produce market now sells tourist items, olive oil, and truffle products. The Romans first settled here in the 1st or 2nd century AD. It was later ruled by the Byzantines and Franks, who created a solid maritime and fishing industry. In the 13th century, the threat of pirates forced Roman to seek Venice for protection. The Venetians ruled from 1283 to 1797, which is why the town looks a lot like Italy, and so many people speak Italian. Built in 1679, the Balbi Arch was once the main town gate. On top of the arch is the winged lion, a symbol of Venice. Although there are many delicious looking restaurants with fantastic views along the waterfront, we decided to head away from the water for some cheaper options, and we found pizza. After lunch, we headed up to the hilltop of the old town, St. Euphemius Church. The early Christians built the first church on this site, but it was rebuilt between 1725 and 1736. The church has a neat story. It was named for Rowan's patron saint, St. Euphemia. The story goes that in 304 AD, she was tortured for her faith by the emperor Diocletian. He threw her to the lions, then her body was sent to Constantinople, which is present-day Istanbul. In the 7th century, her sarcophagus was removed to protect her from iconoclasts. Those people destroy religious images. I had to look that up. Local legend says her sarcophagus mysteriously appeared on a spectral boat off the coast of Roman one day. The villagers could not move it because it was too heavy, but miraculously, one little boy appeared with two calves, and he quickly moved it to the top of the hill. Her remains are still here, located to the right of the altar. Next, we paid 4 euros each to climb the bell tower, considered the highest in Istria. It was built in 1654, took 26 years to complete, and is modeled after St. Mark's Campanile in Venice. We walked up 192 narrow rickety steps to the top but were awarded with a 360 degree view of the town and coast. We then left Groven and headed about 20 minutes south to Cisterna Beach. It was great for snorkeling, but very rocky. Water shoes are highly recommended. About halfway back to our apartment, we stopped in the town of Pazit for dinner at a restaurant called Pepmarone. The food and ambiance were excellent, and we enjoyed talking to the owners until the restaurant closed. What an excellent way to end the day. Join me in my next video as we visit Pula, cliff jump at Cape Kumanuk, and eat the famous safari bar. 
please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!